friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Provec Engineering and Food Processing Travel Limited and I am here your friend Anshul Jain, Director of Company. Today in this video, we will discuss about the biomass pellet, biomass pellet making machine and why there is a need of biomass pellet in the society. So let us first discuss one by one about the need of biomass pellet in the society. So friends, we were discussing about what is the need of biomass pellet or the sawdust pellet in the society. So as we all know that the, all the thermal plants running in India, all the furnaces running for the alloys, all the furnaces running for the roasters, burners, these all are being run by the coal. And we are facing a huge scarcity of coal in whole world. And in this scenario, Indian government had forces the thermal plant to utilize 10 to 15 percent biomass pellet along with the coal and similarly they are forcing out the industries to come on the biofuel to come on the green fuel that is the biomass pellet so that is why the need of biomass pellet is increasing and as a an citizen of india it is our whole responsibility to cut down our expenses we are which we are paying for the coal which is being excavated from the earth so now it is our responsibility to come down to the alternative fuel or the renewable fuel that is the green fuel and that is known as the biomass pellet or the sawdust pellet or the wood pellet. So now we will discuss one by one what is biomass. Actually the biomass is nothing but the all agriculture vessels like the mustard husk, the rice husk, the parali, the nipe grass, the alpha alpha grass and every waste which is coming down from the earth that can be having a higher gross calorific value which can burn and provide the heat. So all these things comes to the category of the biomass and similarly along with the biomass there is another category which is known as the sawdust which is coming out from the sawmill. So in every city there is a lot of saw, uh, sawmills which are producing the ply which are producing the plunks from the wood, wood log. So these all producing a huge quantity of the sawdust and these sawdust can be directly used as a fuel supplement. So now let us discuss what is the difference between the biomasses and the sawdust. So actually the coal having a calorific value of 3200 to 3500 and similarly when we want to replace the coal we must have an alternative fuel sources with the same calorific value but we have a cross calorific value 3400, 3900, 4500 and 4700 our sources like the mustard husk, rice husk these can easily provide a gross calorific value GCB of 3400 to 3900 while the sawdust can easily provide 4200 to 4500 or 4600 calorific value and similarly the grounded shell can easily provide 4700 to 4900 calorific value so these all are best substitute for the coal and can easily con convert it into the pellet which is a solidified product and can easily burn into the pellet burner so this is what need of biomass pellet is being generated uh, in India and we as an Indian nation citizen we must come to the biofuel green fuel to save down our environment to save down our climate and to save down our fuels cost. So Fred, till now we discussed about the, what is the need of biomass pellet in the society. Now how the biomass pellet is being made in the factories. This is a big question and we will discuss one by one, all parts we will discuss and it is very glad to know that our factory like the Provec Engineering and Food Processing Power Limited is the India's largest company who is making the biomass pellet plant ranging from 300 kg per hour to 10 ton per hour plants we are making in house our factory and for that purpose we have four steps, one by one we will discuss about the steps. The first step is to make the sawdust. As we all know that the big cities like the Mumbai, the Delhi, Noida, Indore, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, they have lot of sawmills, lot of furniture houses and they are creating huge quantum of sawdust. But when you are, you have to run a factory, you must have a substitute to make the sawdust also. So there is a machine which is known as a wood log eater that can easily convert wood log to the wood powder. And this machine can produce 80% wood powder and 20% there will be some chips and for that purpose, for grinding the chips to the powder, we must have an alternative substitute of hammer mill. So wood log eater and the hammer mill, both all together can make the powder from the wood log. So this is the first step. Secondary, the wood powder or the biomass is having a lot of moisture and for making a pellet, we must have a 
moisture content ranging from 12% to 18%. So for that purpose, in our if in the scenario, if we see for the year, the average moisture content inside the dust inside the biomass we found as 25% to 30%. And for making the pellet, you must have 12 to 18%. So for that purpose, you must have a flash dryer. A flash dryer is nothing but an source of heating by direct communicating by direct conveying the sawdust from one end to another end in presence of heat and it can easily reduce the moisture of sawdust or biomass to 60 percent to the 15 percent or 18 percent so the second step was flash dryer and the third step is to make the pallet so now there are two substitutes for that one is the ring dye pallet machine and another is the yaw long pallet machine so both machines we have Yering dye pellet machine we make ourselves and Yolong pellet machine we procure from China and this is the world largest company who is making the best quality of pellet machines. So we can go for the post substitute like the biomass pellet making machine of ring dye type which is easily workable for the soft wood area like the Calcutta region like the Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, Jammu Kashmir and this Riva, Satna, Katni belt and the hardwood wherever we found the hardwood we must have a Yolong pellet machine. So both way we can make the pellet from the sawdust or the biomass by using the ring dye pellet machine or the yolong pellet machine and the fourth step is to cool down the pellet to the ground temperature to the room temperature as in 30 to 35 degree celsius and this is all possible using a contraflow cooler or using a cooling device in the four steps we can make easily make the pellet and the first step is the wood log eater or the hammer mill second is the flush dryer which is used to reduce the moisture Third is to make the pallet and fourth is to make the temperature of pallet to the room temperature and is the cooling. So these four steps are mandatory to making the pallet. Now we will move to the factory, we will learn how the pallet is being made by the machines. We will learn every machine part wise was part. So you have to watch this video till end so that you can understand in this video about the biomass pellet plant. So let's move to the factory. So friends, we are in the first section that is the wood log eater and the hammer mill manufacturing section and you can see number of machines are being manufactured just going to me and also you can see the running video. Wood log eater is nothing but a machine which convey the wood logs of 6 inch, 8 inch, 4 inch and 3 inch sizes to the opposite side running cutters and these cutters can easily make the powder from the wood log of 3 inch to 8 inch. Now the thing is that this wood cutter, wood log eater only makes 80% of the powder and rest of the 20% we need to sieve down and we need to convert to the hammer mill. So let's move to the next section of the sieving and conveying section. So friends, the powder which is coming out from the wood log eater will be fit to this conveyor and from this conveyor as we can see easily, this material will go to the a sieve machine and here there is a rotating sieve and we can sieve down the 80 percent material which is of fine size 6 to 7 mm and that will convert to the flash dryer and the rest of the 20 percent material which is of like a chips will be converted to the hammer mill and hammer mill will grind again the material to 6 to 7 mm and that material can reprocess to the same line so this way this line works and this is in conveyor which will feed the material to the uh, the sieving machine centrifugal sieving machine and from here we will get the final material here the final material which is of 68 mm will be will be available from here and from here we can feed to the flash dryer and the material which is of bigger size will come down from here and this can be easily fit to the hammer mill so let's move to the hammer mill and understand about the hammer mill how the hammer mill works so friends we are at hammer mill as you can see this is a very bulky machine here from here we will feed the chips which are coming out from the sieving machine and these will be grinded inside the chamber and from here this will be conveyed to the cyclone section dust collecting section and the fine powder which is coming out from the cyclone will be fit to the conveyor again for the sieving purpose so by this way we have to ensure that the powder, powder which is coming out from the sieving machine powder which is coming out from the hammer and all process must be of 6 to 8 mm to ensure a good quality of wood pellet. So this is all about the grinding section. Let's move to the second section. This is of flash dryer. So the
So friends, now the second stage is to reduce the moisture of the powder which is coming from the hammer mill and the sieving section to 12 to 16% or 18%. And for that purpose, we have two kind of dryer. One is the rotary dryer and another is the flash dryer. And all of these, the flash dryer is the most popular method of reducing the moisture of biomass and the sawdust because it is a direct dryer, not an indirect dryer. Here, the sawdust or the biomass is directly feed to the hot air which is coming out from the furnace. You can see the kind of furnace this is. So this is the furnace for making the hot air and from this hot air the powder will be conveyed to the cyclone and while moving from this furnace to the cyclone the powder is being dried to the from 60% to the 15% or 18% so let us see how how this furnace is so this is the furnace from which we can produce the hot air we will feed the wood lock or the wood chips here and from this furnace we will make the hot air the hot air will be sucked from here by the blower and after this the material which is coming out from the sieving section will be fit to the hot air you can watch the video and you can actually see the working of the biomass flash dryer so now the sawdust coming out from this sieving section will be conveyed to the cyclone and further to the dust collecting section and while moving from this furnace to the cyclone the moisture is reduced from 60 percent to 15 to 18 percent and the biomass flash dryer or the sawdust flash dryer capacity actually depends on the incoming moisture content like the moisture content of the incoming material and accordingly based on the, that we can decide the capacity of flash dryer flash dryer is the fastest medium of reducing the moisture because it is in direct media moisture direct medium dryer and by this we can ensure that the moisture of the sawdust is 18 percent or 15 percent in between that and further the material can be fit to the pellet machine so let's move to the pellet machine so friends this is the end step of this whole process that is the biomass pellet make machine as i told you before in this video that the pellet machine are of two types one is the ring die pellet machine which is our own manufactured you can see here the machine is of 5 ton per hour capacity and next one is the yolong pellet machine which is coming from the china and is the world largest biomass pellet making machine manufacturer and we are the authorized channel partner of Yolong in India so we can provide you all kind of services installations and maintenance throughout the year wherever you require so from the both machines we can make the pellet of 6 mm to like a 12 mm and as you can see this is the biomass pellet making machine and as you can see this is the die and inside the die there are the rollers and these all make the forces to come out the powder from the die holes and by this process a solidification or the consolidation process going on and the biomass pellet comes in form of a high dense high calorie value product and can be utilized directly by making cooling at room temperature so this is the ma machine which can directly convert biomass or sawdust to the biomass pellet and similarly yolong machine is a horizontal machine this machine is a vertical machine yolong is a horizontal machine having horizontal die horizontal roller and can easily convert the sawdust or the biomass to the biomass pellet so this way we can make the biomass pellet from the sawdust or the biomass and further we can forward this product to the cooling section and can reduce the temperature of the pellet to the room temperature and this way we can ensure that the pellet is a, a, a bilkul, ensure that the pellet is sufficiently hard sufficiently dense and sufficient gcv it is having and we can pack it into the 35 kg to 50 kg pack and can easily transport wherever we want in india so friends this whole process like the wood log heater hammer mill flash dryer and the sawdust pellet machine biomass pellet machine this all process can make the biomass pellet from the sawdust or the biomass and this is very easy process and easily we can convert any kind of agricultural waste or the biomass or sawdust to the biomass pellet. In this entire video we have understood 
how we can convert biomass to the biomass pellet by using the full chips and we can easily make the biomass pellet from the sawdust or the biomass agriculture waste and for this we need a space of around 2000 square feet to 20000 square feet ranging from the plant of 300 kg per hour to 2 to 10 per hour so we are making plant of 300 kg per hour which is the minimum size and 10 ton per hour is the maximum size we are making for 300 kg we need a space of 2000 square feet and for 10 ton we need a space of 40000 square feet and the height is 35 feet to 22 feet this is sufficient and power connection if we see that for the 2 ton per hour plant we need a power connection of 350 kilowatt so this way we can make an biomass pellet from the biomass and in this making process we need around two and two and a half like two rupees 50 paisa this is the cost of converting the biomass to the biomass pellet which includes the electricity power manpower and the die cost yes the die and the roller need to be changed frequently based on the biomass based on the agriculture waste and by this process we can easily convert to the any agriculture waste to the biomass pellet and no skilled power is required only a skilled operator is required for running the plant which can also be created inside the group by using a trained operator and we will install the plant at your site we will train you at your site and you can easily run the plant and you can easily earn a profit of three to four rupees per kg by making a biomass pellet and this industry is growing very fast and i can assume in future of next 10 to 20 years for this biomass pellet because the demand of coal is increasing and coal is becoming very rare in india because government is putting a lot of bans and because of this the biomass pellet demand is increasing day by day and you can easily make a plan to install these plants and you can easily come out of the expenses for making the plant so friends this is all about the biomass pellet and uh, biomass pellet plant you can easily watch our video you can make questions to the number 7073642737 also if you want to see the live machineries you can come down to our branches which is our, of nagpur indore hyderabad pune banaras guwahati and if you want to see the manufacturing of machineries you can come down to our quota factory and you can easily see all machines we, we will also make you available the running plants you can make your uh, choices by viewing the running plants and you can select the machineries as per your need and this way we can help you to put up a good business good earning business this is all about biomass pellet thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please do subscribe our channel do like this video do comment on this video and forward to your friends so your friends can also install the plants and can earn a good profit and the whole world is now looking for the businesses from the services so you must watch this video you must forward this video and you can easily convert your service factory to the business factory by watching our video by coming to Provage Engineering. Thank you so much.